Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Smoking Bears, and today we're getting ready for another Cast Iron Wednesday. It's really hot outside, so I'm gonna do this one inside. I got some. Uh, we're gonna do a quick carbonara. I got a. Um, I got some pasta boiling right now, and uh, we're getting ready to throw some chorizo in a skillet and get that browned up. So let's get into this. Cheers. Okay, for today's carbonara, we are using this yellow lentil spaghetti pasta. We're going to give it a whirl. I've already got it boiled, cooked, and sitting over here in the strainer just waiting over there. I have chorizo, one pound, four large eggs, grated Parmesan cheese, one small yellow onion diced, well, bear chopped and some pasta water so let's get our 12 inch lodge cast iron skillet here heated up looks like we're getting pretty darn close all right so you, anybody who knows me knows i like to start off my cast iron with a little bit of bacon grease now we'll take our one pound of chorizo open it up Get that good sizzle. Well, let's go ahead and get it broke up now. Okay, now we're about halfway cooked up. We're going to go ahead and throw in our onion. Just throw it all in there. Let's get that mixed in. Now the onion's gonna suck up some of that grease that the sausage, the chorizo is letting out. And we'll just cook this down a little bit and uh, let those get soft. Okay, so now while that's going, we're gonna go ahead and take our eggs. We're gonna put them in this Pyrex. Now give this a little stirry stir. A stir 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 a roo, as my man Gary would say. Now I'm gonna take grandma's whisk and we're gonna whisk these eggs. You guys can't see nothing. Okay. Now I got them all whisked up. Okay, now we've got them all whisked in. Now we're going to add our Parmesan cheese, our grated Parmesan. Now it says, normally you're supposed to put in like half a cup to a cup, I don't know. I don't usually measure, I just dump it in and mix. You say, Bear, how much do you know to add, how much to add? I, I want sort of like a thick consistency, not quite a cookie dough. But uh, I'll show you in just a second. There we go. It's coming together more like a batter. See that? Looking real good. Kind of like a cornbread batter. I'll use most of this jar, and it's okay. There we go. This will help the eggs from uh, scrambling. See, that? it's like a kind of like a cornbread batter. Okay, so now I'm going to take my pasta. I'm going to drop it in there. I want to kind of get them heated back up. Get them kind of broke up a little bit there, get them heated so they get all nice and 
pliable. What I like to do is make a little well. Now comes the magic. Come in with your egg and Parmesan cheese mixture. Put it right in there. Scrape her down. Now that's mainly Parmesan cheese and a little bit of egg. Now we don't want that to scramble, so we gotta act quick. And just kind of stir it around. Now you say that looks like a thick mess. Add a little bit of your pasta water. Not a lot, just enough to help thin it out. Keep stirring. Because you want those those eggs to kind of heat up. And the cheese to kind of melt a little bit. Kill the heat because you got a lot of residual heat in your cast iron skillet. She's looking pretty good. Looks just a tad bit tight. Just need a little bit. Not much, just a little splash. All right. That's that. Now let's plate this up. I'm just gonna. And of course the dog gets in. Pull that chorizo right up on there. Okay. All right, everybody. Let's get a taste test in here. <clears throat> I've already been, this is like my fifth take on trying to do this taste test. And uh, it's pretty good stuff. The yellow lentil spaghetti pasta doesn't add, change any of the flavor, just changes the texture just a little bit. Gives it a little more firmer um, than regular spaghetti. The onions give a nice little crunch. The chorizo is what stands out with the Parmesan cheese. Wouldn't thought those two went together as well as they do, but they are smashing. This dish is quick. You know, you got a leftover sketty, throw it in there. Mmm. Got all the other cast iron Wednesdays? We'll catch you on the next one. Remember, there's only two rules in cooking. Does it taste good? And did you enjoy it? This? I agree on both. Have a good one. All right, everybody. I got a new mail call. This first one comes from Craig at Behind the Garage Barbecue. And then my other, my second one comes from my man Steve over at Dutchie Cooking. He does a lot of cast iron Dutch oven on the Joey stove. So let's get these put on. Let's put Craig right here beside Mr. Pickles. Mr. Dutchie will go right beside him. Since Mr. Dutchie sent me two different ones, we're going to put his other one right here. Front and center. All right. Awesome. Thanks, guys. I'll put their links in the comments below.